But it is December. Folks further west are facing a major winter storm. Blizzard conditions will make life difficult for holiday travelers. The National Weather Service says it's not over yet. There's more severe weather to come. Up to 22 million people across the U.S. could be affected tomorrow. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Washington. This weather is no surprise to meteorologists. Even in an era of tumbling global temperature records, 2015 has been blistering. Every month since May has been the warmest month on record to date. Take a look at the Earth's sixth warmest years on record. And now, here's 2015, blowing them all away. Up to November, the year has been at 0.8 degrees warmer than the 20th century average. The El Nino weather event is partly to blame, but as the numbers show, we've never seen an El Nino quite like this. A hint of rain today may bring some relief in southern Australia, but officials say wildfires there could burn for weeks. This fire doesn't go away. The forecast for a long, dry, hot summer is there. More than 100 homes have been reduced to ashes as the fire threatened a popular stretch of coastline. It was triggered by a lightning strike on a tinder dry brush. There are no reports of injuries. In Britain, the problem is too much rain. Weeks of it has caused flooding in Scotland, Wales, and here in northwestern England. Homes have been evacuated and people are fleeing the area in boats. Troops have been putting up sandbags to protect other areas. Changes in climate are also affecting the Middle East. In some places, the need for action is urgent, and scientists say global warming will only add to the tensions in the region, leading some countries to develop their own unique plans. Derek Stoffel reports. In a part of the world already hot and dry, climate change is sweeping across the Middle East with scorching temperatures and even less rainfall. More land here will become desert. That will lead many Middle Eastern countries to struggle to find water and other resources, making a volatile region even more dangerous. Much of the turmoil that we've seen in the recent Middle East has a link to climate change. In Syria, drought forced farmers into cities where they couldn't find work, one of the sparks of the civil war that still rages. This desert climate expert says expect to see more of what he calls climate refugees, people on the move heading from rural to urban areas. As climate makes it more and more difficult to make a living, they're going to have to go where they can. Israel, a developed nation, may be hit less hard by climate change. About 60% of the country is desert, bringing its own challenges. The Mediterranean Sea helped avert a water crisis in Israel. Engineers built several plants, just like this one, which now produces most of the water that Israelis use at home and drink. Desalination of seawater now provides 70% of Israel's domestic consumption, and it's relatively cheap. The problem is it's a technology that hasn't been adopted in other parts of the Middle East, leaving scientists worried much of the region is unprepared for the coming climate change storm. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, near Tel Aviv.